Hello there guys, my name is Coast Shell YouTube channel, Dongsterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Wallaby Belgium. Now firstly, before we get started, yes, we've hit it, 2,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. Thank you so, so much for that. There will be a channel update released um, in the next few hours, hopefully. And uh, we'll release all of that. We've got loads of other updates that are going to be released as well over the next couple of days. And uh, other videos that you guys have sent in via the uh, video suggestions ideas form in the descriptions down below. Um, but we will have a channel update to celebrate 2K. There will be the 2K Q&A um, to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. So get your questions in down below for that. Uh, use the hashtag question before or after your question and uh, we're going to give you a few weeks. We're probably going to give you a full month. I might do a, I might release that video on Christmas Eve as like an early Christmas present, but uh, you never know. And, um, and it gives you time to get your questions in as well. But for now, guys, let's have a look at this news update on Wallaby Belgium. So this is some concept art release sharing off the brand new area around the new mega coaster. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Keep subscribing, guys. We are now on the road to 3,000 subscribers and we are halfway on the road to 1 million views, which is unbelievable. So please get the view count in. Please keep subscribing and let's get there. Submit your video ideas in the, the description down below with the link to Google Forms. And also you can vote, vote for me if the vote is still open by the time you're watching this. For the Clamshell Awards 2020, please keep getting the votes in, guys. It will mean a lot. Vlogmas is going to start today as well. We do have 25 live streams on 25 days, ranging from 20 minutes to an hour and a half, maybe, <laughs> depending how long they are. Uh, but for now, guys, let's get into this update and let's have a look at the concept art and try and pick out where in the world we could see what's on the concept art in terms of what's going to be in the area. So let's have a look at the concept art and see what's there. So as you can see already on your screen right now, look at that concept art first of all overall. It looks astonishing. The station for the brand new Mega Coaster. I mean, is that me or does that not look uh, via the art like one of the best themed stations in Europe on the exterior? I mean, to be fair, looking at that little screenshot of the interior that we showed you in the previous update, um, you know, I think that's a good sign of things to come. Uh, now you can see a couple of other buildings. You can see a massive like fountain structure, like a skeleton fountain structure kind of thing in the middle. That looks amazing as well. Uh, but there are two other buildings, and you can see in the right of the picture, uh, sort of next to the end main entrance, shall we say, to the area, is an attraction of some sort. Now many people thought on the forums it would be like a play area. However, we can confirm. Uh, and Theme Park Magic officially confirmed this as well. Uh, that this is in fact a re-themed version of their stunt flight attraction. Now, for those of you who have absolutely no idea on what stunt flight is. I know they said stunt pilot then, but you're getting confused. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, stunt flight is um, a swing ride. It's a kid's attraction. Um, so it's basically uh, a flying attraction. So basically... Uh, you got these two things either side, got these two swinging things either side, and basically it just swings you uh, either side, really. So it's a classic kids' attraction. Uh, it's known as the Zampola Barnstormer attraction. It's been operating since 2001, and um, it used to actually be known as Acrobatis de Grosminets from 2001 until 2004. And it was Walk on Air from 2005 to 2010, and then it was known as Stunt Flight. Uh, from 2011 onwards so a uh, bit of an interesting history with that particular attraction but uh, I like how this is going to be rethemed we're probably expecting another new name for this so probably the fourth uh, new name for this ride uh, and you can see two buildings opposite each other now the bigger building with the one with like, the canopy structure in front that is believed to be the shop uh, for the area and the building opposite the slightly smaller building is a toilet block so we've got a toilet block a shop 
um, a rethemed stunt flight attraction, kids attraction, and of course you've got the station. You can see that lift hill coming out of that beautifully themed station, and that is of course the Intamin Mega Coaster. And to be honest, the whole concept art of the area looks astonishing. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this little concept art analysis. I mean, personally, I love the look of this concept art. By the way, before we sign off. Um, it's it looks amazing on the concept art. I'm sure it's gonna look absolutely incredible in person. And you know, I th I, I knew the mega coaster was gonna be good already, but to see the stunt flight attraction, the toilet block, the shop, the big skeleton fountain structure, no wonder, no wonder the go kart got removed for this. <laughs> I think we were expecting a big project, not just the coaster. Uh, but we were expecting quite a detailed area with the removal of the go-kart as well. So, uh, Stunt Flight uh, is being rethemed. So we know this is going to be rethemed for the area. Um, now, I think the retheme from the look of the concept art looks good. It'd be interesting to see what name they're going to go for for the rename of Stunt Flight. Are they going to keep with the Stunt Flight name and sort of change the theme of the name of Stunt Flight? Uh, be very creative to sort of kept the name Stump Flight but changed the theme of the name of Stump Flight and sort of themed the name to something different but still keep it Stump Flight. So it would be interesting to see if they are going to keep the same name but I think the most likely scenario here is they're going to get rid of the name and replace it with something new. Um, the toilet block looks really well themed, the shop looks brilliant with that canopy structure in front. And um, I love the look of this area. I absolutely look at it. The skeleton fountain structure in the middle. Oh my god, that looks amazing. And all just all the the landscaping and the greenery, not just the attractions or the buildings or anything like that, just the greenery around it as well. It looks amazing. It feels like you're stepping into an abandoned jungle base or something, uh, which is incredible. And I think that this is all going to support the area for this coaster. It's going to be a real support structure. For the basis of the main product, the main course, uh, which is this Intamin Mega Coaster. So I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are really excited as well. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more theme park news and updates, which we spread out over the next couple of days. And uh, for now, guys, stay tuned as well for the 2,000 subscriber um, celebration video, the milestone video. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.